Well, it is golf week in the Ozarks. The Price Cutter Charity Championship tees off its first round on Thursday, but that doesn't mean that there wasn't any pressure putts or testing tee shots. Color 10's Dan Lindblad takes a look at the intense Monday qualifier. It's golf's boogeyman. Nerves, the, the big thing of getting over the nerves. But the reward for conquering the task is a spot in a Corn Ferry Tour event. That would be really cool, especially being in my hometown. I know there'd be Brock's already in the event. I know he's got a lot of support this week, and it'd be really cool to be out there with him. Hundreds of golfers from all over the country played 18 at Millwood for the Price Cutter Charity Championship Monday qualifier. That includes 11 with ties to the Ozarks. Being close to home that helps just being comfortable and stuff like that and kind of just going out and you know playing my normal game that I you know, know I can do and just kind of playing it how I always do and not try and change a game plan, just kind of stick to a process really. I was out here watching when I was probably 9, 10 and I was like, man, I want to play in this one day. Both Chase Gaffner and Preston Richardson have tried their hands at qualifying before. There's nerves every, every, every first tee shot you take and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it's just golf and you gotta go the same as me going out and just playing with buddies. Getting over the nerves of it's a big tournament, just calm down and being in a really comfortable environment is gonna be the most useful thing I take out of the last two years. There are success stories that come from Monday of Golf Week. In fact, just two years ago, Daniel Sutton was in this exact position, needing a good Monday to make the tournament. He finished tied for second and turned it into a top five result. This year, eight spots are up for grabs. You got it. Some carrying their own bag while others bring a caddy. I usually don't have a caddy, so I, I very feel I'm my own caddy. I like to do things my own way. So I usually go off and play on my own, but having a caddy, I know it, it'll keep me loose. There isn't a straightforward process to provide a successful round. It's my home course, so kind of just hoping to come out and just, you know, play like I normally do out here and just hope to kind of play well and just, you know, see what happens. Just hit them straight and don't leave the putts short. In Springfield, Dan Lindblad, Ozarks First.